If there was ever a weekend where the chasing pack could do with a favour, it may come today. Arsenal have been Manchester United's most troublesome opponents this season, and today is a vital game in front of the Emirates. Manchester United could not afford to drop any more points. Well, what a title running it could prove to be if the form book plays out today. Manchester United and Arsenal, a far cry from one of their first matchup of the season where second faced 19th. Now first is facing 7th, uh, so it is a lot closer. But Arsenal have been one of Manchester United's most troublesome opponents of the season. And United's lead at the top is only now 3 points with Liverpool continuing to bang in the wins and goals. So if the form that plays out and Arsenal are troublesome, this title race could have another change in it. There are just six games left now in this league season. It has been a cracker. We have lost our unbeaten team in Manchester United and we've also lost our unbeaten season in Manchester United, but they're still in everything. And the big news coming out of today is that they will be having a rematch against Bayern Munich in the Champions League, the rematch of the quarter, I think it was the quarter-final stage, which was the match they were involved in before the national lockdown last season. What an irony. But here we are today, much improved from a year ago in the situation of the world and sport at the moment, and this title race still has six games left to run, and Arsenal have been troublesome, as we said. Bert Leno starts to go with Bellerin, Gabriel... Uh, David Luiz and Sacco playing left back today. In the midfield is uh, new summon Thomas Muller uh, with uh, Pepe and Martinelli beside him. Jacques and Partey play behind them. And new signing up front is Williams for them. Dean Henderson continues in goal with Wamba Saka by Roja and Luke Shaw. Marcus Edwards is with Donny van der Beek, Fred and Fakara Palistri. It's Anthony Martial and now it's on a plea who start up forward for them today. Dean Henderson now with his fifth game in a row after being in inspired form over the last few games. But remember, in the League Cup semi-final, Dean Henderson was dragged and substituted in this very matchup, of course, when Arsenal were 3-0 up at half-time. And already, they're on the attack here with Pepe. And an oh, And already, immediately off the kickoff, and Arsenal have a chance, but this time, Dean Henderson actually saves that one. And he's a much improved player from that day in the semi-final. And he's definitely proven it so far. Here is Thomas Muller. And Bissaka heads forward. Well, and uh, this was a shocking news during the week. Edison Cavani is now considering retirement as well. And Williams has gone down, and that's a penalty and considered by Eric Bai. And, uh, well, that's a clear cut penalty if ever I saw one this season. Eric Bai here. Oh, he just pushes him, really. Just pushes him to the ground. You can't do that. And, uh, that's a penalty rightly given. And here is going to be. Uh, is that Sucker? Who's going to take it? Or is it going to be Williams? It's going to be Pepe, actually. And Pepe scores, and Dean Henderson's run of saves has come to an end uh, from 12 yards, but uh, Pepe makes it 1-0 to Arsenal then. And uh, well, that's going to have huge implications in the title race. We don't have a score for Liverpool at the moment. Dean Henderson for once going the wrong way. He's had a good run of games, but against Arsenal he continues to struggle. And... Uh, no reading of that for Dean Henderson that time went completely the wrong way. And are, are Manchester United crumbling in the league now? It's strange because in the Champions League they're absolutely performing, but in the league they're really falling apart at the moment. And Nicolas Pepe has made it 1 0 to Arsenal here. And uh, that could really do wonders for their top six aspirations because I don't think they're going to get fourth. I think they're quite far behind now. As their league form seems to be really stuttering now. And that's going to be Martinelli. And a good save by Henderson. It was straight at him. And Arsenal really are going to put a twist to the tail in the league now. As Manchester United continue to be inconsistent now in the league. Still lead by the one here. And look at that. Manchester United having much more of the ball. 
and shots in the last 15 minutes or so. Fred is down. And now here's Williams, who's been all over United so far. Oh, what a save by Dean Henderson. Once again. Oh, what a save. The boy is just inspired. He's taken the knock that he had in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. And he's got better. And now he's going to go run of games. He's keeping David De Gea out of the team at the moment. Thomas Muller. And that's going to go over the bar. Well, he's had a rough time of it since coming over from Bayern Munich. It was always going to be difficult coming to Arsenal in a squad that's been really decimated in terms of their best players. Lacazette, Aubameyang, both leaving. Trying to play in Martial. And the centre forward run today, Anti Martial. And there's the end of the first half. Well, Arsenal have the lead for a Nicolas Pepe penalty that was rightly given, conceded by Bailly. But since then, there's been no other real goals to speak of. Both keepers have been in inspired form. Once again, Dean Henderson showing his worth. And Bernd Leno doing spectacularly well so far to keep the clean sheet. Arsenal 1, United 0, as the title may be just slipping away from United here. Well, here at the Emirates Stadium, we begin the second half, and once again, it could be crucial in the deciding of the title, because Liverpool are leading at Leicester City by a goal to nil, and Manchester United are losing. If the result stays like this, the score will be even on points, but Manchester United's absolutely stellar goal difference will have them ahead. He's only conceded one in this one, though. And it wasn't really mostly his fault. Pepe had a good penalty, and Bailly gave it away. Now, a score coming in. Liverpool in Leeds and Leicester City. And Leicester City have equalised here. Leicester City and JB Vardy has equalised now. That lessens the pain a little bit, but Manchester United need to score. They need to score here because that would still give Liverpool a point advantage. It would bring the lead down to two points. With Manchester United having to face Leicester next, and Leicester being such a good team this season, and another team that Manchester United struggled against. That's on a plea. He's gone all the way, and he scored it. And Manchester United have equalised through Alisson a play. And that's just what Coach Barwich needed. The news has come through from Leicester City, the Key Power Stadium, that Leicester equalised through JB Vardy. And he gave Alisson a play. The measure to get this goal here. Which could be crucial. And it's 1-0. It's unfortunate, but it's a great goal from Plea. He had so much to do from there. Wonderfully done. That's his eighth goal since he came over from Much and Blackback in the January window. Alessandro Plea has been an inspired signing. He's almost reached double figures for goals this season. And he's only had to play in league games because he was cup tied with Much and Blackback. So he can't feature in the Champions League, FA Cup or Carabao Cup for Manchester United. And he's already got eight league goals to his name. He's almost in double figures for the season. Tremendous investment there from Coach Pavlovich. Arsenal won. Manchester United won then. And then to the season we're having. Such a brilliant league, the Premier League. This is why we love it. Manchester United were odds on to win. And now... It's in the balance. And now Manchester United are really coming on strong in the second half. Never count Manchester United out of anything until the final whistle. We say it all the time. It's a true fact. Martinelli to suck it. Oh, down there by Marcus Rojo. Goal coming in. Liverpool and uh, it's a goal. And Mo Salah has responded at Liverpool. It's 2-1 to the champions. And now Manchester United have to win again. The lead will be down to one point if the score stays as it is. 
That equaliser from Arsene Pli could be crucial come the end of the season. But here is Pli again. It's a great save from Leno. Martial comes round. He gets the ball. He shoots. There's another great save from Bernard Leno. Oh my word. Splendid saves from Leno. And now Manchester United are really getting on with it. Here is Marcus Edwards with a cross. Pli chests it down. It's gone too far. It's going to be a free kick against Pli for handball. Bernard Leno may just have made a title changing save with a little more than five games to spare and we have everything on and up for grabs it's a foul on Pepe it's called and it will be a free kick well it's kind of in an awkward position I don't think there's anything against Marcus Rashford taking it Edwards is stepping over the ball Rashford's coming over because he's on and there's nothing to stop him from doing it. He might as well go for it. Here he comes. And it's straight at Leno. <laughs> he almost went over the line there, Bernard Leno. The watch for goal line technology has not gone up. It is still 1-0. Marcus Rashford at least gives something, Leno something to think about. Here's Willie Arn. And it's a beautiful pass to Thomas Muller, and he's wide. Oh, the goal was gaping for Thomas Muller. What a pass from Willian. Thomas Muller, goal gaping maybe. Dean Henderson doing brilliantly to pull him off. Oh, he buried those at Bayern Munich so many times. What a game we've had here. We're into added on time now. Seven minutes. It could really go either way at the moment. What an opportunity for Thomas Muller. I think to be fair, looking at that angle on the replay, looks like Dean Henderson probably would have had it covered anyway. Ashwood. Like I said, Woods. One last chance for United. And Rashford has oh, been boxed out there. Brilliantly done by Arsenal defending again. Why he heads forward. Pepe gets it. Williams is on his own. He picks out Partey. Williams. Oh, it's a brilliant move. Here's Thomas Muller. Blocked out by Marcus Rojo. What a game. Oh, and they've come up with it. Williams. Pepe. And Pepe's got some space. Can he cross it in? No, he can't. Donny van der Beek is there. Donny van der Beek. That's a great ball. Now, here's Rashford. He tries to find Edwards again. That's on a plea is with it. Oh, Marcus Rashford's caught back up. And Bernard Leno comes out and he grabs the ball. That's a great take there by Leno. Didn't give Rashford enough time to shoot. But then has been tremendous this afternoon. Both keepers have. Here is Palistri. Who is gone. And now he's going to cross it in. David Luiz heads out. Here's Partey. It's all happening here. With 30 seconds left to go. McTominay. Head to Burry. The referee calls for a free kick. To Arsenal. And that is going to be the end of the game. We're in the 97 plus minute now and that is the end of the game and a flawing game here which could have serious implications for the title race as Manchester United continue to stutter and struggle and be inconsistent in the Premier League and the title has been blown wide open because Liverpool last we heard were currently leading at Leicester City the gap would be down to one if they succeeded this title race is very much back on Arsenal won Manchester United won after an enfolding game. So, let's take a look at all the results from the weekend. This title race is far from over, with two points separating the top three. We start with a vital result at the King Power Stadium. Liverpool were able to hold on to a 2-1 win against Leicester City, which puts them a point behind Manchester United. But, Manchester United's goal difference is far superior as you can see, with 64-45. to 45. Liverpool need to win this title on points, uh, whatever the case. Uh, Southampton beating Fulham by a goal to nil, and with Leeds losing, that now puts them back in the relegation zone, I believe. Uh, so that's a, excuse me, a vital win for Southampton. 
uh, Sheffield United also winning against West Bromwich Albion as well. Uh, Wolves and Everton with uh, two all. Manchester City beat Crystal Palace later in the weekend. Chelsea grabbed a win that could prove vital come the end of the season because that puts them four points behind Leicester City and a further two behind Manchester City. Maybe the fight for fourth is going to get quite an interesting battle as well with that result. Ryan Mason's Spurs side are just absolutely flying at the moment. Manchester United are not going to surefire win this title. It's probably going to go down to the final day at the moment. Uh, Manchester United, as you can see, have a tougher run in with uh, that game against Leicester City. But look at that. A battle at the top between Liverpool and Spurs. Whoever wins that will go on to challenge Manchester United at the end of the season, you have to feel. And uh, then uh, Manchester United will end the month at Burnley, I think, after that. And then they'll be focusing on the Champions League against Bayern Munich in the semi-final. So, Manchester United on 79, Liverpool on 78, Spurs on 77. And unbelievably, Ryan Mason has kept pace and continued where Jose Mourinho left off. But the champions and um, all just about there and Manchester City were the champions elect about a month ago. And that's not so sure anymore. Manchester City do get back into the top four as the top four battle heats up. As we said, Chelsea's win puts them on 60 points, just six behind Manchester City, with still five games left to be played. But Chelsea have lost uh, a game over Leicester City and Manchester City uh, with, uh, with the weekend's results. Um, so Manchester City, Leicester City all have a game in hand over those two, and Wolves also have a game in hand as well. They could go up to 7th if they win their next game. Newcastle stay 9th and Everton stay 10th. The table is looking pretty uh, settled now. West Ham have actually dropped to 12th. They were 10th at one point, weren't they, last week, I think? Uh, Villa 13th, Fulham 14th, uh, Brighton 14th, Fulham 15th, West Brom 16th. Now, Southampton, as we said, back out of the relegation zone, back in go Leeds as their valiant fight back has stuttered a little bit. Sheffield United are sort of right there, and Crystal Palace can still be saved. But the games are now running out for them, and they're at the bottom of the table, of course. Just three points off Sheffield United. That win at Manchester United had helped them, but uh, it looks like it's going to amount to nothing, unfortunately, for them. But everything is still on for this Premier League season.